Okay, so now we have these three files here in our site. We got a regular WordPress and we added these three from our previous WordPress site. And I got a folder called WordPress 2. So now that they're all there, if we go to our page, now remember it's WordPress 2 now. So if we say simple WordPress dash 2, let's see what happens. Okay, we get this dreaded error establishing a database connection. Okay, well, the next thing we got to do is we got to create a database. Um, so, to create a database, we just say, usually click on the home to get me to the screen, and then I click databases. And then once I do that, there should be an option to create it. So, WordPress, uh, simple WordPress. Simple underscore WordPress. We're just going to name it the same database name as it was before. If we changed it, we would have to alter our SQL. So let's just keep it simple and call it simple underscore WordPress. Create it. And then when it's created, we've got to grab that SQL that we have and import it into the simple WordPress. So if we choose this and we navigate to where it's located, which is HDDocs, and simple WordPress 2 and then WP content themes simple WordPress assets DB and there it is so if we click that and hit go then we're should be ready to rock and roll so now that we've done that and I hit refresh now we happen to see this stuff here but it looks like everything is out of whack so if I view the page source and I see that it's going to simple WordPress assets now what's happening here is a common problem that drives people nuts and it's simple WordPress that's our old path and now we have simple dash WordPress dash 2 so how do we change that well we've got to go into our SQL and find and replace simple WordPress with simple WordPress 2. So I'm in simple WordPress 2. I double click to open up my simple WordPress and I'm going to do a find and replace and if you hit uh, control H uh, what you're going to be looking for is you're going to scroll down you can use this little scroller here and you're looking for the first URL which is here. So we're looking for this control C drop it in here and say hey we want to replace that with simple WordPress dash 2 replace all so now that we've done that it found 32 replacements and the larger your the longer your WordPress is the more that number increases so now we can just copy that SQL go back to PHP my admin and inside that we can click on the SQL tab and just drop it in there and this is great because of the um, replace database um, options we checked before so we hit go and now if everything is great it should work like it did before. Um, one other option that I like to do is when you log in and you log in there, what you want to do is get in the habit of going to permalinks and saving changes. Now, I don't think it's going to do anything in this case. But what it does is it knows your environment, and when you click that, it updates the HD access file with uh, the necessary way to make sure that all your links work. So if you find your links aren't working, this is probably how to fix it. So that's how you back up um, your WordPress site.